So by now, we're pretty sure we've all heard about the internet breaking boxing event taking place on August 25th. It's scheduled to be the largest internet event in the history of ever. With the main event being UK's own 19 million subscriber having <coughs> KSI going head to head with America's own 18 million sub having <coughs> Logan Paul. Now these two have been going at it for months. We're talking videos, tweets, pictures, merch, more tweets, and even in-person roast sessions. Even the little brothers were thrown into the mix. Yeah. But this video is not about Deji and Jake. This video is about why Logan Paul will win his boxing match against KSI no matter what. Here are the top five reasons why Logan Paul will come out victorious by the end of this fight. For starters, KSI was the one who called out Logan Paul, not the other way around. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the polls, I don't care. So if Logan were to win this fight, trust me, it would not be a good look for KSI. And you know what they say, the one who laughs last, laughs the longest or something like that. The second reason Logan Paul will come out victorious in this matchup is that KSI has hopes to become a professional boxer and has trained and fought in a previous fight before, referencing the fight he had with Joe Weller. Logan, on the other hand, has never had a boxing match a day in his life, or not at least on a stage like this. That means that if Logan were to lose the fight, he could easily use the excuse that KSI has been training specifically for boxing much longer than he has, and include the fact that KSI has hopes to go pro. This, in fact, would make Logan look a lot less of a loser. However, if Logan is to come out victorious in the fight, he will not only have bragging rights because he won, but he will also be able to say that KSI has been training for this a lot longer than him and has still lost. Either way, Logan doesn't necessarily lose if you catch my drift. Third, KSI has been talking a lot of sugar honey iced tea lately. He's even gone as far to call himself God and say that Jesus is his son. Logan, on the other hand, has been using KSI's trash talk to his advantage by manipulating the situation and making himself look like the victim. Now listen, Logan isn't always right. Really, he isn't. But this is a smart technique to use. If Logan won the fight, KSI will look very, very bad for all the trash talk. And if Logan loses, then he would just look like the guy who was standing up against the evil villain, KSI. So we can only hope KSI has some hands to back up his mouth. Point number four. Back in February, DJI, I mean DJI, I mean KSI, fought against Joe Weller. But this technically did not count as a fight. Joe Weller did not present much of a challenge to KSI. When compared to KSI, Joe Weller is rather small. <laughs> Therefore, during the fight, Joella got pushed around like a tree in a hurricane. He got absolutely, mm, how should we say this? Ooh. up. But on August 25th, Logan will be giving KSI a real run for his mouth. KSI has a lot to prove, which kind of puts a majority of the pressure on KSI to win this fight. Last but not least, as said by the great artist Buster Moon from Sing, once you hit rock bottom, there is only one way to go, and that is up. In this case, Logan has already hit rock bottom. Now, whether Logan wins or loses, this will add to a great redemption story, which, by the way, will be watched by millions and millions of people. Now, you can hate him, but what nobody can hate on is a good redemption story. So, at the end of the day, Logan Paul will be walking away with a calm, fat W.